But just know, Zebo is where it's at. Yes, sir. Welcome back to episode 30 of the Last Woo! Minute Podcast. <laughs> On the right, you I got Big Tina. The Across the table, I got Zebo G. Henry still ain't figured out how to use the stream deck. Give me some gunshots. Yeah. What was C doing? <laughs> Shout out C, man. We're going to bring her back. Oh, oh, oh he's going to crazy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, out. shout out C. We're going to bring her back because uh, her episode was fucked up. We just need to have an episode where we bring all the people that we said we're going to bring back. <laughs> and they said on one episode. <laughs> that would be like 30 people. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the room ain't big enough for that episode. Facts. I'm like, you have to stand we got to shoot this shit in the auditorium. <laughs> Not auditorium. I sound everybody, nice. everybody good? Yeah, I'm chill. I got more energy than usual. Not a bad day at work. So. Okay. Yeah, same. Today, yeah. today was light. Very it was inter- actually interesting. a good. It was a good day. That's good. It's a good day. Good. good. That's good to hear. Um, Austin uses. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I told that man to get me some food. He ain't getting no food. He said I forgot your food, and they wouldn't let me add it at the window. Uh, he's supposed to spin the block. Yeah, he's supposed to spin yeah. the block. At that point? Yeah, he don't care. Useless. Oh, he left? Yeah, gone. Oh, he's not gone. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> nah, oh. I'm playing. But um, now, see, I just, now I'm mad. Understandable. <laughs> no, oh, why is this video so long? What All right, so I had a good day. Martina had a good day. What about you? Um, uh, It was a better day. Amen. It's a better day. Better day. Amen. As long as they keep getting better, that's all that matters. Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Uh, it was a better day. But yeah. um yeah, let's Dude. get into rap news. Rap news. You literally have nah, the come thing. On. Oh, it's 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 hey, what you doing? <sighs> All right, let's kick it off with Lil Nas X and Jack Harlow's industry baby hits. Number one on Billboard Hot One Hundred. That's dope. Uh Lil Nas okay. X earns his third number one single. Jack okay. Harlow earned his first. Okay. Um, What's popping with number one? I know you would think so. That, that went kind of crazy. Yeah, that song they had was, a whole remix and everything. That song was everywhere. Didn't they have like three or four remixes? Well, no, I had one official. They had remix a fish remix. With it was Tory Lanez, the baby. baby, and Lil Wayne. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, which is crazy. It was actually nice. Yeah, and it was hard. Yeah. So I don't know what's up. But with the radio stations overplayed the hell. Damn, that's why I'm surprised that? it's not a number one. Yeah, that had to get close to like number four or something. Had to. But anyway, congratulations, Jack Harlow, first number one. Yeah, shout out Harlow. He been That's a mad big consistent. That's a big deal. Yes. Harlow's been mad consistent. Yeah. Um, he just announced a tour uh, in Louisville, in Louisville, where he's from, and it's like five venues, and it's all in the same town. That's, that's where he's hard. From. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's real hard. Um, so but yeah, uh, I mean, he tried a really good project. Like he, he, he just project was good. His features been good. He hadn't missed yet. He been doing music videos. And he's not corny. No, is, no, no. Which is great. Yeah, which see, is very rare right for white rappers. Oh, no like, place you know like home. That's nice. No place like home. That's hard. Yeah, like that's dope. They that's kind of like a city got to be to do that. That's kind of like for when. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of like when Hove sold the garden out five five nights in a row. Right. Like that's 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 your. That's your, your territory, shit. yeah, yeah. That's uh, dope. But yeah, shout out Hollow, cool dude. Um, shout out Lamar's X. Uh, Money Bag Yo is releasing the deluxe version of A Gangsta's Pain this Friday. I'm not mad about that. Not no, me. I'm not. Because I feel like that's an album. Time. I feel like that's an album needs a deluxe. Because that was a good. Yes, ass album. that was yeah. a good album. That was a that was like top top five. That was a top five album for this year. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll definitely be listening to it. Uh, so we have uh, Young and May says the rap game is too depressed. Uh, she tweets the rap game too depressed. We need to toughen that out. Who said that? Young and May. I kind of agree with her. Why? Because there's a lot of people like making not necessarily like there's a lot of people that just always complain about being depressed, like rappers wise. Because they are. <laughs> I feel like the world is depressing right now. I mean, yeah, but like, so maybe it's just kind of ironing on to the rap game. Yeah, or know. is that just the thing? To I think rap it's about? like the cool thing to rap about. Hmm. Like, I feel like this is gonna sound fucked up, but I feel like mental illness nowadays is a trend. Hmm. 
I've heard that before. I feel like people think it's a, like people. It's kind of trendy to have a mental illness nowadays, which is crazy because people yeah. that actually have a mental illness really be going through it. I agree. Yes. Like people that are really depressed yeah. and really suicidal and really be going through that kind of shit. Right. That's not trendy to them. It's not cool to them. Like. Yeah. And nowadays it's like, oh, I got anxiety. Yeah, people. A lot of people self diagnose. Oh, I got. Yeah, you know, I'm. I'm depressed. Like, no, bro, you're not depressed. You're just sad. That is true. <laughs> yeah. Like, like depression, I'm, I'm, and, I'm, to, depression and being sad for one or two days is not the same thing. My mama calls them the blahs. The what? The blahs. Like, blah. Yeah. She calls them the blahs. Like, when you're sad, but it ain't depression. Yeah. The blahs. The blahs. Yeah. Hmm. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I have to use that one. But, the blahs. But, yeah, I don't know. I just don't think that's cool. Like, mental illness shouldn't be a trend. Nah. Definitely shouldn't. Like, especially if you know people that like really go through that kind of shit. Like, yeah, because some people really, really, really struggle with that. Yeah, battle yeah. mental illness. And yeah, people with like invasive thoughts and all that shit. Like, and I do really got a mental illness that's just telling them to kill themselves, like yeah. for no reason. Like that's. And I do think now there is it's like a, a market where like you know oh that's oh everybody's going through it so if I rap like that then. They're going to that's what I'm saying. They it. feel like people can relate to them, so yeah, they like, rap about it, yeah, even if they're not really you going. Know, you ain't, we're not sad, but you're yeah. not. You know, you're not really even going through anything. Yeah. So deep that it causes depression. You know. What I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But. Um, yeah, we'll leave that. At that. But I would, yeah, I'd have to agree with Younger Man. Uh, NBA Young Boy was involved in a fight in jail. Prosecutors oh. are trying to use the incident uh, to get judge to deny his bond. Dang. Why? That's tough. The let down in your voice. That's tough. Why? That's tough. Why? That was a setup. Um, but Why? just in, is he, in, is in, he cor- in is correlation, he in correlation, any young boy's attorney proposes in-home recording studio, ex-military guards to protect his Utah home if he's let out of jail. Dang. Um, <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> young boy being Utah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Utah. He be out there where nobody can find him. For real. I mean, he shit. made a song called Nevada, so he might be. There ain't shit in Utah. I'd have been trouble. through. I'd have been through Utah. There ain't shit in Utah. Did he go through Salt Lake City? No, nah, I ain't never been to Salt Lake City, which is the only place where yeah, there I'm is saying, shit. Ain't that like? <laughs> ain't that like D town to go yeah. to? But like just driving through Utah, like the middle of Utah, yeah. ain't shit there. Land, land, desert. That's tumbleweeds and shit. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was depressing. <laughs> um, he gonna get, he gonna make some good music though because he ain't gonna oh, shit yeah, he else to do. Good music. I hope he let. I hope he wins in his favor. And um, yeah, man, you just gotta stay out of trouble, man. Yeah, like you, you can't be in there no, fighting and shit. Not and especially for what he's in there for. Like, bro, you bro, gotta you gotta be on the best behavior you yeah. can be on. He must be in. He gotta be in gym pop. There ain't no way he in protective custody and no. and he's getting Can't fights and shit. Getting fights, yeah. Unless he's fighting guards and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Um, hope young boy gets that figured out and I hope he gets what he wants in his favor. Uh, Lil Baby and Lil Dark's Back Outside Tour made over $15 million. Shout out to them. Damn. You said who and who? Lil Baby and Lil Dark's Back Outside Tour made over $15 million. That's crazy. Yeah, I hope they got to pocket a good bit of that. They probably did, but that's somebody said ten million dumb. going to the label. <laughs> yeah, I was hey. Say, hey, hey, that's still two and a half million a piece. Oh, Woo. nah. Plus, they got to pay all their teams. They got to pay all the equipment. They got yeah, the sound nah. guys, <laughs> the they, security. They walk home with about five hundred thousand. Yeah, that's crazy. Jeez. But still, though, I mean, but it's nice. But it's like, damn. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> shout out to them, though. That's lit. Um, a while ago, we talked about Rollo Rodriguez uh, turning himself in, but he has been released from jail after he turned himself in. So that's he told. good. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> 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 you think so? Yeah, he told. No, well, I'm joking. I don't want right. to do, do say that. I don't. I have no idea. But uh, well, what did he get arrested for? I don't know. I just remember he turned himself in. I remember that. Uh, that sounds suspicious. It doesn't really say. That's then suspicious. we talk. <laughs> yeah, that's suspicious. Let me see. Then we, then uh, Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> did, wasn't we talking about him turning himself in last week? It was like maybe two weeks ago. I think I want to say it was two weeks ago. Because I remember this conversation. I do yeah, too. I was gonna say it wasn't that long ago. 
I'm what is something like really bad? <laughs> that's what that's what I'm thinking. I'm about to look it up. I thought it was like like because I feel like when we was talking about it, we was all shocked. Yeah, because it's like damn, that's what. And they release him. <laughs> that's that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I ain't gonna go into detail, but if he had some crazy charges and he got out in two weeks, crazy. That's all I'm saying. Crazy. Y'all know. <laughs> uh, there's not really. No, oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna stop talking here because it might have been something. Yeah, it's still undisclosed to the media. Hmm. Yeah, no. Nah, Guess we'll find it in another episode. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, Key Glock says, uh, "How y'all let the industry turn into the streets?" Key Glock needs answers. <laughs> the industry turned into the streets. How y'all let the industry turn into the streets? How hasn't it always been in the streets? Though? How y'all let the industry turn into the streets? How how shake my meaning head. as in this for everybody or niggas really out here in the trenches? So definitely not the second one. Yeah, yeah I don't I don't know because most that means. not most rappers be hoes, but a lot of them is not. <laughs> They not own. <laughs> they not own shit. Yeah, I don't know what that means. So, I don't either. Uh, but uh, I'll keep like nah, his answer. Kind of. I don't know. I wonder what he means by that. Does he mean like everybody in the industry is still on some street shit instead of worry about getting their money? Maybe. Or does he mean a couple of comments? Everybody want to be the realest nigga, not knowing the feds is really watching. That's what y'all wanted. Rap game supposed to be a way out, turning to the trap, getting rich and still crashing out. Nice. Okay, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Was it the people in the industry claim they from the streets? That's how. Um, he means the business is no longer a business. Cause the niggas who blow still be an active beef. And somebody just said what? Um <laughs> Okay, I get what he's saying. I guess he's talking about like all the rappers dying, all the rappers going to jail, all the rappers as soon as getting they get caught famous, up in little they, cases. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I mean he's right. I will say that Keith Glock is right about like all these rappers coming up and getting rich and then doing some dumb shit and going to jail. Yeah, that's a lot of them, man. And salute to Keith Glock because he never did that. Nope. And, and he, he got, does not. And he got rich young. Yeah. So. And I hope he does not. And he, yeah, knock on wood. But yeah, stay free out here, Keith Glock. Yes, sir. Um, Speaking of Keith Glock, did y'all listen to his shit? Yes. Ambitions. Not yet. Ambitions is a, just is a it, new music video. Yeah. Oh, was it, is it a tape? Nah, nah. <laughs> it's just a new music video. What is, what you is played it? a song for me before. What's it called? Ambition song. Uh, you sure? Yes, I'm uh, actually 100 percent positive. Uh, Key Glock. Um, this song's hard. Ambition for cash. Yeah, ambition for cash. Are we sure that I did this? The video is dope I'm too. I'm sure. Yes. I watched the video, but you put me on the song. Key Glock's always made dope music though. I like Key Glock. I like his voice. Yeah. I yeah, wish you wasn't. Key Glock got a rapper voice. Like, if he was really selling drugs, I'd believe him just by the tone of his voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and he gonna question him. Like, a real yeah, he's so- tone. Yeah, you right. sold it. All right. But, uh, yeah, Key Glock makes dope music. Yeah, his he does. His grill is pretty. Um, yeah, we got, like I really got money grill. We got Big Draco again. Oh. Uh, Sutter Boy <laughs> speaks. You can't beef with Big Draco unless you're ready to crash. Uh, Who has crashed? Shut, shut up. <laughs> Who Rico Reckless was in your shit. And he like ran down on you and you did nothing. First rapper Nada. to be ran down by Rico. <laughs> yeah, no, Rico Reckless run down on rappers. That's like what How he you famous talk down for. on Big Draco, Tana? Huh? It's Big Draco. Because he be talking all this tough shit and we all watch him not be tough. Because he don't like, care. Shut That's what fuck be funny. Up. Like, <laughs> he like, really don't be caring. He really just be. You better be ready to crash. Rico, just Reckless, be talking, was, bro. Rico Reckless was at your house, Did ready you... to crash, and you wouldn't open the door. <laughs> Did you see what's. Uh, so this weekend, Southern Boy tweeted about Young Boy. Yeah, like, bro, yeah, shut he up. Said, what did he say? Bro, they will kill you, bro. I know, he said, uh, <laughs> they will kill you, bro. Shut up. Like, he just be talking, bro. Uh, he said, Tiger fell off, famous Dex <laughs> fell off, YB fans gay, uh, YB fans are gay AF. Uh, then he said, I'm a fan of YB, not all YB fans is gay, just the ones that say fell off in ratio. 
Uh, <laughs> what's that saying, bro? <laughs> he was just talking joke. Like you just be talking, bro. But like, bro, why, bro? Like, 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 why, why? B fans will kill you, bro. Like, <laughs> like they, they will get yeah, you bro, knocked like off, they, bro. Yeah, they hold it down. Like, why B's team will get you knocked off, bro? Soldier, funny. <laughs> he reminds me of like how Little Nas X trolls. Yeah, but slightly, but just not that like clever. It's just no, him just talking just, shit. No, just, yeah, it's just him talking shit for no. And that's funny. Reason. Some someday we gonna watch the downfall of Soldier Boy. One but day, but haven't we already? And he still came not, back up. Not, not I really. Feel like, not really. What was the downfall? After like, uh, not really a downfall, well, but like a quiet well, period. It was because he got locked up. Yeah, he, I was about to he say got he locked went up. like he went ghost. He went MIA. Yeah. But yeah. I'm talking about one day we gonna he gonna say something to the wrong person and we gonna watch the the fall of Soldier Boy as in they gonna beat but, his motherfucking ass. Oh, I'm about to say, but I feel like he if you're a care. rapper and you get beat up on camera, your career is over. I feel like he would recover. Just by the way that he just talked junk. Like if if you're uh, a yeah, but he talker, can't never talk no gangster shit no more. Oh, but he is. That's why. I know, but they just gonna beat him up again. You hey. like lose all your credibility. You can't talk all this gangster shit and then get beat up on camera by another rapper. He gonna be like, I got a hat. I got he gonna be, like, be like the first rapper to uh, get beat back. up by a rapper. <laughs> he gonna be like, hey. look, he gonna be like, at least I held my own. At least I held my own. All y'all oh, other yeah. niggas, when I pull up, Bert y'all be, be, there y'all be yelling. All y'all other niggas, when I pull up, y'all be running. Like, yeah. what you there? I can hear it now. At least I fall. Yeah, at least I fall. <laughs> like, okay, at least bro. I fall. <laughs> Shut your ass up. You at least brought I fall. the fight. You caused the fight. That's a resilient person. That means that person does not have anything to lose. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust you. Can't beef with nobody. Like you can't be. Yeah, you can't beef with nobody. Ain't got nothing to lose. No. They, they have nothing care. to lose. No, because so Soulja Boy really win. don't have anything to lose. They will win. Um, off of Big Draco, we got Block Boy JB. Oh my uh, god! <laughs> Block Boy JB. Uh, Block Boy JB speaks on not being able to release new music. He puts on his Instagram. Yeah, yeah, because he was probably, <laughs> <laughs> he was probably like cut his budget. Oh my god. <laughs> This man was smoking a cigarette <laughs> through the mask. Through his mask. He is a demon. That is just crazy. Cut his budget. He yeah. is a yeah. his They saw that and said, arm. cut it. Cut it. That was the last cut straw. That was one more straw, and it is cut. That is foul. Cut his budget. I just budget. remember seeing that, and I was like, ew. <laughs> What is this? He had like the little tar stuff. Yes, it was literally like a brown mark on his mask. He was in the car and he was smoking his cigarette through his mask. That and he was, was the worst part was he in the car by himself. <laughs> yeah, it was just disgusting. Like, bro, you can literally take that off. Like, you know bro, how was wrong his lungs have to be. Bro was in the car by himself. Why do you have a mask on anyway? Like, bro, I don't. He I, wanted him. I can't even trust myself. Real. He wanted. He wanted him. I can't even trust myself, motherfucker. I swear, I got like a screenshot somewhere, bro. It was. Was crazy, bro. When I saw the asking the Martian, I said, "Look at this. This is." I <laughs> wish you would have never shared that. With you. I'll literally like never forget that snap. Like right, he can never that was a top. Himself. Yeah, also, that was a top ten moment of this year. To also, me. He can- <laughs> <laughs> top ten. When I saw that tenor, I literally said, "Whoa." Nobody's like saying nothing about yeah, this, and you know it's funny. Yeah, it was He's brown in the news, and we do this every single time. <laughs> <laughs> He's been in the in our rap news. That's like, crazy. Every week, bro, he tripping. But what he say? He said he can't release music. Oh, uh, he said so I love I love making music, but I'm just finna give up and be done. It's just some of the shit that be going on is not for me, and I can't drop no music. I can do 50 songs today and still couldn't drop nothing. Feel like they oh, he signed on a, me he signed a to die dude. or something. If a nigga ever tell you I ain't working, that is cap. Nah, he signed a weak ass deal. Pretty much. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, that look alive shit, and they probably got they probably threw some weak ass deal. And he had he had one more feature, but he did that. Scott cut. (laughs) He smoked the cigarette. It's over with. It was over with. But he had one more. That was his last chance. Somebody biggest. They said you got to redeem. Somebody biggest drink. It was gonna be one more song, but now that was his last chance. He There's blew. been a lot of people that that took the Drake stimulus pack and just did not capitalize. I know. It's yes. so sad. <laughs> it's so I don't sad. know what else Block Boy JB could have said though. Yeah, nah. It's just because <laughs> there's better Memphis artists. <laughs> yeah, like there's nah. so many, there's so many artists from Memphis. Like you got to be one of the best ones, and he's like not even close. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a fact. Like, like okay, am I gonna listen to Block Boy JB or I'm gonna listen to Key Glock? 
Yeah, I'm listening to Keith. Well, like, bro, you ain't have a chance, bro. And look alive, he ain't say nothing. You know? Yeah. Like, they cut his part. They let Drake's part go. Play on the radio. And, yeah, yeah, and they would cut Black Boy JB's yeah. part. Yeah, that's so sad. <laughs> you are ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is your song, and they won't let you play on the you radio. Booty Damn. butt put. He gonna be a YouTuber. He gonna have that's to what he, he need to be. A, no, he needs a streamer. No, he need to be a YouTuber. Both. Because he got, yeah, both. Because he got the personality for it, for sure. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, give, up on, give, up, give up on the rap shit, bro. <laughs> it's over with for you. Tough times. Your label don't trust you. Tough times. You smoke that cigarette through that mask. I'm telling you, I saw the that. Label I was said, like, yep, nah. This is going to change a lot. I know yeah. whoever was looking on their phone and saw that just took out the longest side. <laughs> I was just, just like, they was probably like, why did Because he was, sign he was just chilling in the car and he was like, <laughs> I was like, like, the mask off. The like label. Yes, and it was just a brown, like this big brown spot. The like, label was sitting in the label was sitting in the office like, look alive wasn't even that good. <laughs> they be like, so, why did we sign him? <laughs> so I'm gonna say it. I don't even think they talking, they just like just hit nods. Like, just just disappointment. You remember, you remember disappointment that one last day. straw we had? That was it right there. <laughs> Throw it. Just throw it. I was gonna give him one more chance. One more chance. Get him out of here. It's, it's That's what. <laughs> That's sad. Another block boy. Uh, we got D Hill, who's known for producing features part on Life Is Good. He oh, passed yeah, away. That, that is crazy. R. I. P. In the Zara's featuring Drake too. R. I. P. Because he his tag is like D Hill, right? Yeah, something like that. That's crazy. Does it say how he passed? He was young though. Like how? Dang. Like twenty something. That's sad. Young 20s or like mid 20s or late 20s? 20 something, what does it matter? <laughs> That's young. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like, I don't know. It's like different levels to 20. Oh, he had a seizure. Oh. Damn. Dog. That's fucked up. RIP, man. I hate that. I hate a lot that. of people don't know a, a lot about seizures. Seizures. And they come out nowhere, too. Yeah, you don't have yeah. to be You don't have to be epileptic to have a seizure. Mm. Like, you can have a seizure out of nowhere. <laughs> Back on Black Boy JB. Oh Black Boy JB God. speaks on their Biden. He puts on his Instagram. Biden Nobody is a weak you... ass president. Uh, nigga just be doing shit we never wanted. Biden, we voted for the black lady. So that's <laughs> enough of that. We got Fetty Wap announced his new album, uh, The Butterfly Effect, dropping on October 22nd. And what's say. cool is I know the graphic designer. I went to school with him. You said who's dropping what? Fetty Wap. He's dropping a uh, new album, The Butterfly Effect. What's the cover? And the cover. What's the cover? Let's, let's uh, give me one second. For some reason, I thought you were saying Travis Scott. I was like, Nah, oh, the album's called that's Butterfly Effect. Travis Fett Scott had because his number one song called Butterfly Effect. Because his child, uh, she loved butterflies and she passed away. So, oh wow! Yeah. So that's the cover. And uh, I know the I know the dude who did the. Cover. What if he pop out and he got an eye? Oh, cool. oh, oh my god! <laughs> it was all the front, bro. What if it was all fake, bro? He popped out. He got an eye. <laughs> just, just two eyes, just two eyes, Charlie out here. Just threw everybody for a loop. I'm seeing you. Um, but you according according to Instagram, a lot of people are showing love and saying they hope that he makes a proper comeback. And I, a lot I of people do. are going to stream yeah. the album. I do. I, I do. Listen, I'm going to listen to it for sure. I'm going to listen to it. Yeah. Just because it's going to be a beautiful. Faye album. said he put everything I got left into this album. Damn, he meant money. <laughs> he about over it for him. It's over. This shit got to sell. It's over. <laughs> We got uh, we got Lil Dirk plans uh, to get high school diploma. He tweets, I'm going to get my high school diploma. I want to challenge myself on my goals in real life situations. Why don't you just get your GED and go to college? True. <laughs> that was just so he doesn't like, want that, Tanner. He wants his high school diploma. All right. Shout out to Lil Dirk. <laughs> go finish high school, bro. What if you walk into class, Lil Dirk was just sitting in your class? <laughs> I'd be like, what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would walk out. I'd be like, bro, why are, we, why are you here? I'd be mad at him. I'm like, bro, I don't want to be here. Well, you double back. Why you? Yeah, well, why? why you come back? Right. You already rich. Like, like you already got what we. Nah, but shout, that's dope though. Shout yeah, out. that's probably it. something that means a lot to somebody to mean a lot to. I him, would so. assume his mama. Probably. Yeah. Or maybe show his kids that you could. You should yeah. do it. Um, that's dope. And though. also, in addition bit. to dark, um, a lot of people. <clears throat> Were tweeting how they want um, Beige Loaf and Lil Dark to make more music together. Yes. And and what was crazy is she was actually trending this weekend. Um, a lot of people were saying we gotta protect Beige Loaf. Yeah, Beige Loaf is a. She doesn't get her appreciation. No. At no. all. Um, that try me. Phew, yeah, try me was a very crazy track on a lock. But she's like a dope. I mean, she makes dope music. 
You know, she makes like actual good music. Her and Jaquees make great music. Yeah, she does. She does make great music. Oh, I listened to her last album. It's actually, and it was yeah, good. It's good. It yeah. had a lot of features on there. Yeah. I mean, it had Benny on there. It had Conway. It had I don't know. Is she, is she on like, there? Is she tight with the Griselda? I don't group because don't she's know. on everybody's album, or she's not on Benny's, but she's on Conway's and Westside. She and might it's, be. A, it's a secret feature. If so, on she needs to take advantage of it. Yeah. She needs to take advantage of that. Um, but I do yeah. hope that's another artist, just like Fetty Wap. Like, you know, she drops a project, like, you know, I really want to support it. Yeah. I think she, she still deserves has, it. Yeah, yeah she, she still has it. a lot of potential. Um, so that's all we have for rap news. <laughs> let's talk about so, let's talk about um uh Maxwell Cream album that just dropped. Hard. Um, I didn't get to listen to it yet. Ooh, hard. hard. Like you that? Got, yeah, you need to listen to it. Uh, it's called Wait I don't a- know if, <sighs> Who is Max O'Kring? I've heard the name, but like never just got like a proper. Uh, he's from Houston. Yes, he's, he's a rapper Texas. from Houston. He's been popping for so a while. So is now. he like very southern? <laughs> southern. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah. It's southern. Ludicrous it's southern rap. Type southern. It's like gangster southern rap. I would compare it more to. It's like a 2021 version of UGK. Thank yeah. you. That was a great example. Man, that's so hard. Um, but yeah, Way to the World. He got Tyler Credit on there, ASAP Rocky. Production uh, was crazy. Freddie Gibbs, Don Tolliver. It was 16 tracks. And it was good. Um, it was it was good. The song with Freddie Gibbs is hard. ASAP yes. ASAP. The song with ASAP hard too. All the um, features were good. Yeah. My favorite track is the uh I like the trips. I like They Say. I really they like say is that's hard. That's hard. And uh description. They don't be giving Maxo his props at they, they never all. did. At they never all. do. Um, but yeah, Maxo is hard. Hard project. If if y'all haven't listened to Maxo Cream's album, go definitely listen to that. Uh, I would have to say my favorites probably. The intro is hard. That beat, that's what I'm saying. The intro is crazy. crazy. Yeah. Uh, they say yep. Big Persona with Tyler is dope. Uh, Streets Alone is dope. Don't play with Shawty Ass is dope. Local Joker is super dope. Yeah. What I look I like. like uh, Greener Knots is dope. Hit I like Boy that Mama's Hit, Purse, too. Yeah, Mama's Purse is dope. Greener Knots produced by Hit yeah. Boy, which is dope. Uh, and Trips. Trips is amazing. Yeah, Trips is very amazing. Like, I think that should have been an outro low-key. Yeah, I think that should have been an outro low-key. Like, <clears throat> that shit is sad. Um... Yeah. Just hearing somebody rap about like a like somebody like as close as their brother dying. Yeah, that shit is sad. Yeah, definitely go stream uh, Max O Cream's album. We also got Young Thugs, um, long anticipated. Oh shit, there's a song with Cole Punk. Here? Yes, you, and you I like it. To it? Uh-uh. <clears throat> it's yeah, Martina. You're the only one I think who fully listened to it. Uh, so you kind of talk about it just a little bit. I wasn't expecting a punk album. I really wasn't. I just think. Maybe that's the persona he wanted to do. I think it's more so that's the persona. But go ahead. he, I don't know. It was just very. He talked a lot. Like it was just him, like talking and narrating stories. Hmm. And you're kind of just like, oh, like die slow. He literally like talked about like something he saw in his childhood that you know, throw him threw him off. Um, stress, stressed is nice. I don't like T Shane like that much, but stressed T-Shine. or T Shine. Thank you. Who my country came out. Um shine. Yeah. Intra my wrist is low key kinda hard. Uh-huh. Um scoliosis. I listen uh, to I think Bubbly. I think Bubbly Bubbly's. is ass. I like Drake's part. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. I turned it as soon as this part came on. No, nah, I like Drake's part. I was like, why what are you doing? Bro Rage not, is dope. I was not a fan of Travis Scott's part. No. At all. Um, no. Um Icy Hot is weird, but it sounds like they meant to be with each other, <laughs> and then the last song with Mac Miller, hard. Yeah, now that that one is hard. Oh, the last song got Mac. Yeah, on. yeah that one's hard. hard. And what's R- crazy R- is R- R- P, man. they made it. They made that song the trap before Mac Miller died. He said in an interview. Damn, that's crazy. Yep. Like yeah, that was that was hard. Yeah, that, that song was, was nice. That, that was a nice track. Video, that I guess, was a nice track. That's the only one Henry got like. That's only I, Martina played it for no, me. No, I like that. Nice. I like the one with Cole. I also like this Contagious. Yeah, Contagious. Yeah. Once you get past like the little like intro he does, 
That's on hard. I might listen to it. I'm not the biggest Young Thug fan. I'm but, not either. Uh, young Thug, you have. I won't say you have to have a special ear for Young Thug, but like Young Thug makes really nice. Like, what was I saying? Like, really nice. Like. His arrangements and stuff like that are pretty crazy. Yes, I like how he makes some of his beats. His beats are cool. Yeah, I'll like, say his music just sounds crazy. Yeah. You know? Like, but it sounds like a you know like organized chaos? Yeah. Yes. It's not like that. Yes. It's definitely but, organized chaos. But, like it's chaotic, but it's very clear that everything was done on purpose. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I I mean I wouldn't give it really a good play value. Now I like the cover. The cover was not lazy. I really like the cover. Oh yeah, the cover. This is hard. the first Doug un- always has nice uh, hard covers. covers. Yeah, and it, it, I can't remember the artist that that's based yep. off of, but, but the actual painting's dope. Yeah, because it's, yeah, he did a good job on the cover. Um, That's another thing I noticed. Max O'Cream's cover wasn't lazy. Nah, it wasn't. He had a picture of him and his brother. That's not, I don't think he has that actually tattooed on his back, but still looks it's a crazy. picture of him and his brother. We also got uh, Gucci Mane uh, dropped So Icy Boys. I, um, I did not listen I to that. I did dropped. listen to a lot Faces. Yes, Faces, Which is Mac one of my Miller. favorite Mac Miller projects yes. of all you time. You know, I have never heard that. It's because it was That's, on SoundCloud yep. only. It dropped in like 2015. Yep. And I never like got the craze behind it. Was it 2015? I think it was 2016. It, but, was, uh, it was something like that. It was when SoundCloud was first starting to really go up. And that's why he did it only on SoundCloud. Cause the, the no, it was twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen, yeah. 2014. So that's so like the only. Uh, I think the reason he didn't drop it is because there's a lot of samples in it, and I think I think he didn't feel like going having to go through the sample clearance process, yeah. and I guess now that he passed away, that was like we got to because this is one of his best projects in my opinion. Never heard it. You and need then, to listen to it. That's no, crazy. he replayed like a good, I say a good bit of it in the car. Yeah, hard. This is one of my yeah. This got some of my favorite Mac Miller songs on it. It was I very love the eerie. one, the one with Earl on there. Diablo is like a classic. Whoa, my bad. Um, Diablo is a classic Mac Miller song. Uh, the last yeah, song, faces. yeah. Grand finale. I like that. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, what Malibu Angel does. Inside Outside is a crazy song to me. This album yeah, is, is beautiful though. Like he it's just said, really yeah, good. Music. It sounds been so good. Here already. I was like, oh my god, yeah. this man was telling his us his death. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But it's just dope. Like dope album. Yeah. Matt definitely Miller one faces. of my favorite Mac Miller albums. Definitely gotta run that up. Uh, Slime uh, Slime Life Shoddy uh, also dropped the project. Um, I haven't listened that to is. it, but he got Lil Dark on there, Future, Nardo Wick, uh, and Jack Boy on there. I listened to a couple songs just because I saw it. But yeah, I was, I'm not a big fan of Slime Life Shoddy. I'm not either. I'm going to go listen to it. He has really good melodies, though. Yes, he does. His melodies are dope. Yeah, he does. Um, That's really it as far as uh, projects that has dropped. Um, Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to talk about Bow Wow being mad at the Millennium Tour? No, I didn't hear about oh, that. Oh, yeah, he did. You didn't hear about that? Mm-hmm. He's all pissed off at the Millennium Tour because he's not he's not having like a long enough set and shit. They're giving him like 15 minutes sets. Which, to be honest, is kind of disrespectful to Bow Wow with the lineup. Who's like, who's Bow Wow got more hits than most of the Yeah, people. the lineup is Soldier. You got Pretty Ricky. Soldier? Yes. yes. Boy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Soldier. He was just in. They were just in Charlotte. Yeah, they were just Sunday. I know, but Saturday. like I didn't know the lineup. Soldier, Ashanti, Pretty Ricky, uh, <laughs> uh, what's the name? Not uh, Pleasure P. Pleasure P. Okay, Pleasure P got some hits. Uh, I'm forgetting one other person. There's a Marion. Mario got some hits. It's like one other person, but yeah, that's oh Yang Yang <laughs> Twins. What? But like now, I think that's it. Bow got a 15 minute set. How long is everybody else's? A long. It's like a three-hour show. Oh, jeez. Who is like the closer? The closer is Bow Wow and Omarion. So does Omarion have 15 minutes? Or does Omarion get like the rest of the show? So this is the... So the headliner the is Bow Wow. Omarion and Bow Wow with the face-off. Uh, so why is, why is Bow Wow Twins, 15 Lloyd, minutes? Sammy, Pretty Ricky, Soulja Boy, and Ashanti. To be honest, I would rather see Ashanti than any of them. Yeah. Why is this not in a show? Why is Ja Rule not on this tour? And Ashanti they, shouldn't be able to perform if Ja Rule's not there. And they were at they were at the <laughs> freaking Spectrum Center. Like, like this is a big tour. Yeah. 
Um, How? I don't know. I don't know. I don't <laughs> but it got a lot of build up. No, it's all people our age that yeah. like grew up on this shit. It got a lot of build up because it was supposed to happen in 2020. Yeah. yeah. And COVID hit. So I think once people saw that, oh, okay, this is for real. Like, we're going to go to this. It's all people. It's like 20. I wouldn't say my people my age because I feel like people my age probably weren't listening to shit. But like y'all, like probably 25 and up. I'm 24. I know, but you also probably listen to music that most people weren't listening to when they were. Yeah, I wouldn't be listening to none of them. Yeah. So, uh. Ooh, Lloyd, that was probably a good set. Lloyd got a lot of hits. Yeah, that's a fact. Lloyd do got a lot of hits. Um, but yeah, pretty that, Ricky. Our boy, uh, King Not Finance, Chad T, went there and he said he had the time of his life. He well, saw his he, idol Bow Wow and Soldier in a Mars. That's Island? the craziest. He called him Big O. That's, Come on now. that's the craziest idols to have. Do you to know me. how happy I am for him? That yeah, he shout out to him. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy. I feel him. like him seeing them is like me going to see Jay Z. Yeah, or like, Kendrick. You get to see Bow Wow and Soldier and Amaria. I know he was going crazy. <laughs> yeah, he, was he like, had four seats. Yeah, I, I, I need to hear that. Like, yeah, we need, we need a Chaz interview. He like, was Chaz, going crazy. Tell me how that. We need to have Chaz on the podcast. We should. That would be so interesting. Yeah. That would be so interesting. Because we can talk about we can talk Dude, about Battle Wild Soldier Boy. We can talk about so I just got much. questions. Yeah, it's just like, that, like out of I've known Jazz for, for a while and I've never asked him the questions yes, I gotta ask like, him out about Battle Wild Soldier Boy. <laughs> out of all artists that exist, why does Bow Wow, Amarion, and Soldier just resonate? They, they must have just hit some it's some artists that do that for you. Like, they, they just... But, like, those three? I've never heard anybody say that about those three. Those... I mean, because you got to think, like... When he graduated? 2013? So, he grew up in, like, more of the niche of it. So, he probably really got Well, he to, was, like, in the middle of this. Yeah. So, like he, when he probably was like really kid. got to, like, just immerse in it. And it was like, just, like... I mean, Austin's a year older than Chaz, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chaz is 26. That's what I'm saying. So, we grew up... We all grew up listening to shit. It's just something, something about Bow Wow, Bow Soulja Boy, and Amarion hit. Bow Wow Chaz was kid friendly at first, so if Most you definitely. follow him through being kid friendly, and you saw, okay, I like how he rapped as a kid. Well, he sound like like a teenager and a grown man. If that resonates with you, then I guess that's how. That but we're not gonna act like Bow Wow's mixtapes as a grown no, man. See, I, not no, see, I was just about to say that because he I, can rap. I did listen to his Green Light series. Yeah, Green Light Four was tough, crazy. Green light five, he tough. Can, he can actually. Green light like, six, tough. Like Bow Wow like, can this actually was a rap. Hard project. It's just, I, it's just he's rapping about shit. I know he didn't do, yeah, because he was famous at eight. Yeah. Like bro, you can't rap about gangster shit. You've been famous since you was eight. Yeah, I'm weak. You what gangster video. shit did you have to do? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then you remember he was signed to YMCMB and he was supposed to drop. Uh, it was like highly anticipated. Actually, it was called underrated. Yeah. Uh, I remember Meek Mill was gonna be on there. It was a Wayne. Yeah. Uh, Dang. I think Chris Brown. You know, like, like just a couple other features. You know, that was very, that was very big at that time. Some still big, but um, yeah. And then he got dropped when well, he left the label. Uh, I don't know if he's still really releasing music right now. I think he's working on his last project. But yeah, Bow Wow's projects were mm-hmm. hard. Uh, I don't know. It's just something like I'm just not really going out of my way. He got, I'll tell you what, he got this song called Boy and Girl. Beautiful song. Beautiful. Yeah, I think it's about his girlfriend being, I think it's about his girlfriend being pregnant. And it's just like, just, you know, if we have a boy or a girl, he's just like talking yeah. about it. Beautiful track. Like, actually, very beautiful. <laughs> Highly recommend it. Um, but I don't know. I guess, I guess he just like, he just like Bow Wow. But. I think I know what it is about Amarion, though. What is the dancing? It's you guys heard, bro. It's you guys heard. Let's think about how much Chaz likes to dance. Chaz does like Chaz, to dance. And Chaz a dance like he on you guys heard. He does. <laughs> he does. Like I can see Chaz a break dancing. Like yes. for real break dance. Oh yeah. Like spinning on his Give head. him a chance and he's gonna go bananas. Yeah. It will go crazy. That's no, what I'm saying. Because Chaz could dance. Yeah. Like he'll go crazy. Cause he be waxing your ass sometimes. Bro, he, he, bro, bro, I got a, I got the funniest Snapchat memory. <laughs> Well, what the so, it was the Soldier Boy Bow Wow versus, versus Bow. No, no, yeah, so, no, it was. Uh, we had just finished a video. In the discussion, was it the end of the discussion video? I think no, it was. 
It was in a discussion. It, it was, was in a discussion. It was in a discussion. Yeah, because everybody was here. Yeah, everybody was here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I challenged him and I lost, man. <laughs> he did whack your shit. <laughs> like, bruh, he, he was not playing. That, bro, that, Ooh, shit, that Ooh, shit is so yeah. funny, bro. <laughs> That's not what he was doing at all. It's a small interpretation, but. It's like, dang, <laughs> Chancellor is going crazy. But like, nah, I bet that's what it is about with Omarion. That's why we need to have him on here because I got yes. I got questions. Yes. Um, if you want to see Chazza T on the last minute podcast, leave a comment. Please leave a comment. Just say go Chazza yeah. in the comments. And go listen to all his music too. Thank That's you. a fact. I am as well. But um, what is Bob doing this video? <laughs> I just feel like it's a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Bro explaining his pain. <laughs> Like, it's been, been the same. Since I was eight. Nah, he was bad because he got clowned about his boots being small. <laughs> oh, the Bow Wow Challenge. No, the Bow Wow Challenge was he he was like uh tour life. And, you know, I can't believe I can't believe I'm here. I'm very blessed. And somebody took a picture of him on Twitter. And he was like, bro, Bow Wow is right in front of me. He was, it was like a private jet. He was like, tour life. I'm blessed to have this pr- uh, private jet. Yada, yada. And then somebody took a picture of him like in regular class on the plane. They was yeah. like, bro, Bow Wow is in front of me right now. <laughs> and it was like right after he posted that. <laughs> I was like, oh. oh yeah. I know y'all remember the video where he had his hood up. And he's like, they don't oh, even yeah. know it's me. <laughs> oh, I was like, Bow Wow, come on, bro. Now you can't do that. Oh, man. You can't do that, bro. I don't know if he was just being funny. No. No. No, because I mean, I've seen it, but I don't know if he was just being funny and just. Oh, I got to pull up the picture. And people took it the wrong way, but. Here he would be screaming at his laptop. Here it is. <laughs> Bro, always got the all caps on. <laughs> so, <laughs> they don't have the caption, but he said, so this guy a little bit while I was on my flight to New York. But on Instagram, he posted a picture of a private jet captain traveling to New York today. SMH. And my wow, right there. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and like the, the, he slumped too. Yes. Bro, oh, here he goes. goes. Travel day. NYC press run for grown uh, growing up hip hop. Let's go. I promise to bring y'all the hottest show ever. And then, <laughs> and then, uh, where, where is it? Oh, uh, here it is. And then, yeah, he gets clown. And they was on him. Like this was that trending was like yeah, worldwide. Yeah. Like, cause it's funny. Like, bro, what are you doing? If you flying, if you flying first class, then bro, fine. Just, you saving money. Saying, I ain't yeah. mad at you. You ain't got a job first For, class. Yeah, bro, pri- private jets are expensive, bro. Like, it's oh. obviously first class. Yeah, like, yeah, obviously. Just, yeah, like, bro, it's fine. <sighs> like, they got TVs and the headrest and shit. Yeah, like, that's, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't, that like, ain't coach. No. <laughs> like, by yeah. well, you save money. I ain't mad at you. I know I would. Yeah. Well, why would right. I pay for a private jet yeah, just you to pay go for over? The jet, you yeah. gotta pay for the pilot. Just you to gotta go pay for the fuel, like, like, or I can just get in regular class and call it dollar yeah, day. I'll just a take five, a nap. Yeah, get a five hundred dollar ticket for first class. Yeah, I'll just take a nap. I'm fine. So yeah, wow. Shout out, wow. I mean, shut moss. I'm sorry. I swear to God, I'm be <laughs> rich flying coach. Don't play with me. That's, that's what you're gonna do, bro. I swear to God. Straight up. I'm paying for first class. Fuck Hell that. no. <laughs> I'm saying coach. Fuck that money. I need mine. Uh, we, we got one more thing in the rap news. Uh, Kim Kardashian pays Kanye West twenty three million to keep Hidden Hills home amid divorce. Twenty million for the house and three million for the furniture, art, and other contents. <laughs> he charged her for the furniture. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, furniture is expensive. City boys up, especially especially their furniture. Yeah, because it's like but like twenty three million. That ain't shit to them. No, that's probably like a little, a little. That's like two grand. It's a little pass game. Did we talk about Kanye changing his name to Ye? No, we did not. No. Oh well, Kanye. I mean, Kanye West officially, officially changed, changed his, his name. name to Ye. Y'all see that haircut? Hell yeah, that shit was beat. <laughs> yeah, he got know. a blind barber. I don't know what he had going Kanye on. Kanye bl- barber blind. Leave him alone. That's sad. <laughs> He's not blind. <laughs> that is very sad. Um, he got a blind barber. But yeah, um, he cut his hair with the stick. Also, just something for us to talk about before we uh, before we finish here. It's not music related, but I was waiting for it. Little Caesars five dollar pieces now cost five dollars and fifty five cents. Haven't they been more than five dollars for like forever? Yeah. Apparently no, but they're now five fifty five. Cause I've been paying like maybe five twenty five. That's just like five dollar foot loans. Them shit seven dollars. No, them shit's about to net. <laughs> and that's somebody and somebody else saying, well, after tax it's seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it so is seven. Now they are basically seven bucks. 
So I said the world is officially done. No, nah, because they offer more. They give you what is it that it's a calzone? It's like a piece of calzone. That shit is good, low key. I'm wondering, but still, it's still crazy. They offer more. That's eight dollars. I don't think I would pay for it, but I definitely tried a piece of somebody else's and it was pretty good. Their wings are good. They're just very small. I've never had little. Caesar What's the best pizza place? What y'all think? Like chain pizza restaurant. I have to go with Domino's, but Papa John's is not that far from it. I would have to agree. Like Papa John's definitely slap, but I just prefer. I can't cap. I think Pizza Hut better than all the. Pizza Hut sauce too sweet for me. Ever since she said that, and I've eaten Pizza Hut, I have to. Agree. They have the best. It's the, it's the cheese stuff crust. Oh, they have the best crust. I will. Yeah. Oh yeah, that. I mean the crust the, is great. If you don't eat crust, I don't. But I will eat Pizza Hut you just because it got cheese people? in it. Oh no, I don't really eat crust. I gotta be hungry to be eating crust. Like right. crust is good. It's part of the you food. You make this like we like. No, nah, oh, like, I literally would eat the pizza, pizza and then pizza throw pizza. the crust away. It's Very part of the pizza fat. piece. Unless I mean, I'm just am, unless I'm like, at a situation. <laughs> but like I'm gonna eat my crust. Like. Yeah, like crust good. Unless I'm at a situation where I just can't throw it away. But if you got if you got some <laughs> you know, pizza hut, but that's cheese, a trash right there. I'll throw it. But, is, but you if you got some pizza hut cheese stuffed crust, you are gonna eat that crust. Yeah, no, that's gonna be good. But their crust is good. That's it. But like I'm not just eating Domino's they got the best crust. breadsticks. And speaking yes. of crust, it got to nah, be thin cap. crust. Domino's got the best breadsticks. That little cheesy yes. shit they, they do. do. Oh, they do. Oh, crack. They crack. Do. They do. Um, Ooh. but uh Papa John's got the best dessert. Thin crust. They yes. 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 Domino's. Nah, I like my shit thick. Thin crust is nice cuz you you can eat more. Yes. See, I'm trying to eat like one or two pieces of pizza and be done. Oh. I'm not trying to sit there and smash like I, a whole I piece. try to only eat two. Like I feel like after but I But like two thin crust pizza slices is not enough. Domino's cuts it up into like squares. I think that's what makes it cool for me. Yeah, they can <laughs> cut up in squares. But, uh, I, I, the most I try to eat is three. I also don't like square pizza. Wow. It just don't feel right. I mean too shame. Like nah, the square a, pizza at lunch is supposed to be a triangle. hit. That's a fact. Until we show about with the wheat. That's a fact. That's a fact. Then we had that fucking wheat bread pizza. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Whatever the hell they and was then doing. And they probably drowned in their Good. ranch. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Y'all eat ranch Good on y'all pizza? Uh, yes, but yeah. it, I cannot eat it on pizza. It make me gag. That's too sweet. That's too sweet. I don't. It's sweet and then it's like tangy. That was tangy. Like, yeah. I actually eat sriracha more than ranch on my pizza. I've never tried that's sriracha, crazy. but that's probably Ooh, that. crazy. That's good. <laughs> He's so hype. It's, it's good. good. It's, it's good. good. I'll tell you what. It's I, good. But yeah, I have to go. I would have to go with Pizza Hut. Like, that's very interesting. I if we're not talking, I just chains, don't know about number one. Benny's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, very yeah, high yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. When it's cooked like right and it's crunchy and cheesy, it's same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. If we're not talking chains. What's the best pizza place? I do want to try pizza in from like New York. I like Enzo's. Uh, Enzo's, Enzo's is, is good. Yeah. If we're talking local. Enzo's real good. If we're talking like global, the best pizza I ever ate was at Grimaldi's in New York. Yeah, I would like to try like yeah, the, the original Grimaldi's. I'm sure it's like in New York. Crazy. It's uh, under the Manhattan Bridge. It's in Dumbo. This is a wild song. <laughs> Everybody is on this. <laughs> this shit hard though. Yes, and Harbo had the best uh, first. A lot going on. I think Durst was pretty hard. It was, but Herbo had the uh, verse. Uh, verse. <laughs> you know he gonna say that because you said he rap on beat. <laughs> he wasn't even that off. No, no, no. He was on beat. He was I was about to say, hey, I was like, hey, no way. Bro. He got he he struggled a little bit in some parts, but Ooh. but he was on beat for the most part. Anyway, I think he just, he just be trying to say too many words. Like no no smoothness on the beat. <laughs> no like smooth. there's like there's no like G Herbo has never had a smooth flow. And hey, you not lying. Never. Never, never. I've never have I heard G Herbo come on and be like, damn, he riding his beat. Like you no crazy. It always sound aggressive. You're crazy. It always sound like him and the beat fighting each other. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. He has very like his his I find his flow very unique. I don't know. He comes off yeah, as like... Yeah, it's unique because nobody else trying to rap off Cliffhangers? Beat. But it works. I'm not saying it don't. Okay, you didn't say that. You're I'm right. just saying. You're right. You're right. You're I'm right. just I'm just saying what I hear. And when he rap, it sounds like him and the beat fighting each other. Okay. That's crazy. He be going three rounds with the beat. And who be winning? He be winning most of the time. Yes. Now, does. sometimes the beat be beating his ass, so <laughs> Be knocking his ass all over the place. But, uh... What is, what is Oh, that's the credits. 
Did you see Mike Dean mastered? Uh, no, but I remember you telling Max me Maxo Cream. That's crazy. I remember you telling that's me a that. big. That's a big deal for Maxo. Because I mean, he mastered Donda. Yeah, and it was mixed by Ali, which is Kendrick and all that shit. He got. I don't, he's industry respected. He's not like a you know. He's not like a huge artist, but everybody in the um, industry. <laughs> you might want to change this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> His chill Cardi playlist. <laughs> oh yeah, two that hour, two hour Playboy card. Why? Do you have a problem? <laughs> yeah. Tristan, do you have a problem? You be you be listening to playlists on YouTube. That's yeah, just, when I go to sleep, it's just lazy. When I go to sleep, I make just... your own playlist. No, or you are, can. No, these are like beats that he hasn't released. Oh, yet, they're like so. beats yeah. and shit. Oh, okay. or like people... or like unreleased songs, and they're just like. Really nice. No, yeah, it's okay. not like it, it's just. Chill. I thought I thought it was like somebody made a playlist, put it on YouTube, and you just didn't want to make your own. <laughs> oh no 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 okay. no 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 no. Cardi, when Cardi's music is slowed and he's like not like in that high squeaky voice, he and they're makes, all slow. Yeah, they're actually all makes, slow. like nice. His music is music. yeah, his music is decent when when he's actually trying to make music and not yeah. just making noise. Yeah. I would, that's like the same thing. That's exactly how I feel about Young Thug. His music is good when he's like actually trying to arrange a good song and not just making noise. Yeah, I can agree. Cause I feel like Young Thug going to go in the booth and just start making noise. I can agree. Cause I definitely didn't heard some shit on Young Thug songs where I was like, "There's no way he was speaking English." <laughs> he was definitely just. He's a very noise. unique artist, though. He I is, which you gotta respect it. Yeah, I very admire unique. people that can rap <clears throat> what he's rapping, like yeah. they know what he's saying. I admire people like that. Yeah. Austin claims he's the the, the modern day Mozart, mm. just cause uh, just cause he makes such like crazy, just who the fuck else would think of doing this shit kind of music. Nah, definitely, mm. definitely. That's he, interesting. That's yeah, interesting. Definitely. Um, what we at? So I had to send a text to my dad. Um, shout out Mr. Gilmore. Yeah, shout out Mr. Gilmore. Um, uh, predictions of what time are we at? A minute and a minute. Not. A- <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I think we might Damn, be longer than a minute. Slow, but I, yeah, I was like, time is moving super <laughs> we slow. We just got a lot off in a minute. <laughs> An hour and like three minutes. What? I don't know, I'm getting this feedback. I don't know where. You got your laptop, what you call it on? <laughs> nah, that was weird. You yeah, still got it. it. Oh, it was that mic. That's weird. Um. Anyway, uh, uh, I'm sorry, so what's your prediction? An hour and three. Wait, now your mic is just gone. Talk. Hello? You good. Here. Oh. That's not her mic. That's not her mic. How you know, Tana? That was embarrassing. Okay, what's your prediction? <laughs> An hour and now five minutes. Uh, fifty-nine minutes. Fifty-four minutes. Wow. Mm. Um, I think we did pretty good today. Yeah, yeah. good podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The energy was high. We had more energy yeah, than yeah. we have had in the past couple of weeks. Yeah, stream day. Give me some gunshots. Let them gun sounds. Yeah, yeah. But well, you got any other gun sound? That sounds like Call of Duty. You got another gun sound? Nah, I need like a. Five, five. Next time I will. Fackle, fackle. I'll have some more for fackle. you. Fackle. <laughs> I'll have some more for you next time. Let me get like a shotgun next time. I got you. Or like a whole bunch of like a whole bunch of assault rifles going off or something. Oh yeah, see that? Was, yeah. Oh, he be slow shooting. Uh, okay. <laughs> But gotcha. yes, uh, episode thirty. Thank, um, yeah, yeah Woo! episode thirty. Um, good episode. Yeah. Episode thirty, yeah. part two. Yes, <laughs> energy was high. We're gonna have C back. Yeah. Um, Should we just have her back for thirty-one? Yes, because we didn't have a guest this yeah. week. If we don't have that one guest, oh, okay, that's about. But yeah. besides that, you know, yeah, sure. Um, thank you for watching Last Minute Podcast episode thirty. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh, make sure you follow Big Tina at Club Paradise underscore X. Make sure you follow Tanner at Pay to Play Records. Make sure you follow me, Zebo.g, in the Zebo page, Zebo NC. Um, Zebo Boombox October is out now on Spotify and Apple Music. We already talked about favorite tracks. Yes, we are. Okay. 
um, is going crazy. Make sure you uh, go find your next favorite NC artist. Favorite NC artist. Um, <laughs> yeah, and thank you for tuning in. Whether you're on Spotify, whether you're on Apple Podcasts, Zebo TV, or you know something else out there. And if you uh, listen to all thirty episodes, we really appreciate you. Yes, because. <laughs> <laughs> this takes dedication. Like it's it said, really does. It's, like when we first started this, I thought it was going to not be as. It still don't take a lot of time, but you still got to be like. Nah, this is like you got to be faithful to this. Yeah, like, you got to be faithful every yeah. Tuesday. I every know, Tuesday, like, I have to do this. You got to like, shoot the podcast. Like, unless I just can't, you know. Yeah. Like, I, I think it this. also works because like we're actually friends. Like outside I was gonna say, of it's, this. Still, it's still it's fun. not just work. Like it'd be yeah. funny because like we could be arguing and it's like we get over here and it's like yeah, da, 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 yeah. They get off. It's like all right, peaches. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. it's just recorded work. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but just, uh, but it don't recorded feel conversation. Like it. Yeah. yeah, but it don't there we go. feel like work. I and I like, thought I was gonna around. get tired of it. Me too. But thirty episodes in, it's still fun. Yeah, still having a play. So we have more to go. Yeah, we got more to go. A lot more to go. Quit playing with us, man. Last minute podcast. Quit playing. About time nah, for nah, upgrades. Yes, we not playing. They're not playing with us. They playing they sales. Yeah, Ooh. you playing. Ooh. Ooh. Talk to them. They playing me. They playing them. Talk to them. Tina, last words. That was hers. <laughs> um, positivity. Say it again. Y'all playing. Y'all sales. We out. But just know, Zebo is where it's at. Zebo TV, North Carolina. Give me it. Yeah. yeah.